So basically, yeah, I say good morning. Welcome back to the view. I'm here by myself today because I don't know. I moved. That's a new place. So no more housemates coming in and out of the video. I don't have much energy because I just came back from work and people are stupid, man. Nobody's wearing a mask. Anyway. We're doing Nelly Golden today. She just released an album, but also Mariah Carey just posted her first, like, you know, her debut performance. And I got, I got depressed, I won't lie to you. I'm 25 now and I always wanted a career like hers and I don't see it happening. Okay, but this is a Nelly Golden video. So let's hit it. The album is called The Brightest Blue. Oh yeah. I, you know, I have a blue sofa, shade of blue plus grey pillow, a blue thing, and I'm wearing the brightest blue. Giddy. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, great. The camera angles, baby. The person is called Start. I feel like I've been barely living, but I keep getting sick. Cause all I see is everything I've done before you killed her. What? Things just stay the same, stay the same. But how many times I've had to recover? All I do is start again. I'm thinking about a new beginning. This song is featuring a serpent with feet. He's apparently um, an experimental musician from Brooklyn. Believe cancer men don't have the will. I won't lie, I loved it. I loved it. I did not know what to expect. I haven't heard any of her other albums. You know, Burn, I know Love Me Like You Do. That's about it. That was fantastic. Cash, of course. If you haven't been in my channel before, when I like something, I cash it. When I don't, I trash it. And when I don't feel any particular way about it, it's a pass. It's funny how I just complained about feeling down, especially with how my music is going nowhere. Now this song saying, you know, how many times I, I, I had to recover. All I do is start again. And then it reminded me of things that, you know, so many friends, <coughs> so many friends that never stayed when I needed. I never needed, but I just find it funny how some people are, you know, claiming to be best friends and whatnot. And, you know, I'm there to support you always. I, I'm gonna be here for you. And this is never the case, it turns out. Maybe I've been Maybe I have been a bit unlucky, or maybe I'm a shitty person. You never know. Anyway, we're talking about Ellie Golding now, I suppose. This is a fantastic track. I love the production, I love the lyrics, her delivery, everything works for me. I'm excited now. I, d I didn't know what to expect. I thought she would have like generic pop stuff and I would trash everything and everybody in the comment section would be, ah, you're so disrespectful. Ah, you listen to trash music, your taste is trash. Fuck all y'all. <sighs> The next song is called Power. Can you get me out of distance? On a Friday night, stuck with someone big. Na 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 I could be the one. This reminds me of Be The One. A Dua Lipa song. I can be the one. I like this song as well, uh, even though I don't love her voice. She seems to have to have found what works for her. Very relatable, maybe. If you f if you feel like you're the best thing that's stepping into this world, like I do, about myself, then you get related to these lyrics. You are not down for love. You just love the power. This is a cash. Well done. How deep is too deep? Hello. Just to cut the scene now So in all the seats Just to bring me a drug Okay, a bit predictable How deep is too deep? While I was going to the chorus, I was thinking two things. That this is the kind of generic pop that I expected from her. But the production is actually interesting. Like, you know, it's not basic. Nothing special. Not that, not that everything is to be special and not that not everybody needs to invent the wheel. If anything, I feel like I, I am writing a lot of songs like this and I just don't like them. So I keep changing them until I fuck them up completely and then I trash. The other thing I was thinking about is that Halsey could be um, featured in this. I don't know, the way she wanted the, on the chorus. Tell me how you feel sitting out there thinking you could live without me. 
This is a cast actually. How deep is too deep. When I'm talking about other music and I keep saying that I wanna be surprised, this is what I mean, I wanna be surprised. Do something different, even in the end of the chorus, just to keep it fresh. Even though this trick was not, you know, the most imaginative thing, it got my attention. So if I go back to the album, I'll remember this track, especially this album that has 18 tracks. Sist, you went crazy, okay? Like we don't have a life. The next song is called... Oh shit, I don't know how to pronounce that. It would be the strongest version of what I was first given. Is that her voice? Is that how she talks? Sometimes I had to trump. Is this like a poet and I'm, and I'm clueless? I don't know what that is. But that was... Um, I saw it on her Instagram. The trailer that she had. Let's go to the next one. I don't know what to say about this. I'm clueless. I don't know if that's her voice. I don't... The next song is called Love I'm Given. <laughs> But I feel a change in the love I'm given. I'm turning a page, am I forgiven? Maybe I'm surprisingly matching the mood of the album I'm reviewing. But I loved this as well. Uh, also, this one could feature Imagine Dragon. Make me a, make me a believer, believer. Hey! Hey! Cash! I love it. Uh, let's go to the next one. New Heights. All this time I felt I needed you by my side. Even if we fight. All this time I felt like I needed you by my side. Even, even if we were fighting the whole time. If you are in a relationship, friendship or a sexual relationship. And you keep fighting with somebody, go. If you take one advice from this video. I'm still a small YouTuber. I don't think anybody's watching yet. But if you are watching and you're in a relationship that you're not having fun and you're wasting time and you go to sleep and you're not happy, leave. Leave. A anything is better than being with people that you don't like. I've done it so many times. I grew up around people that were stuck in situations that they didn't particularly love. And I was always telling them, just go. Just go. And everybody was like, yeah, it's easy for you to say this and that. Blah, blah. Well, now that I've lived alone for some years, I have lived with my example. And let me tell you, even though it gets lonely, it gets very lonely sometimes. I've learned to respect myself first and foremost. I try to be just like those other girls, except Try and have fun in your life. If you're not having fun, something is wrong. Listen to these lyrics. And music is supposed to be therapeutic, supposed to be educational. Something much Cash. I hope she's writing her own lyrics because cause I love everything so far. Um, the next song is called Odd to Myself. Okay, that's also an interlude. I don't really know how to judge this in the first listen. The next song is called Woman. I think I'd rather be alone. I don't know where to stand. But I know it's not very good songwriting like the way she says that's just the woman and go straight to the second verse who's always looking i don't remember i don't think i'll become a huge fan but something that i do appreciate in every album no matter what music you make is a good ballad pop music i want to hear a ballad that's just piano and you uh, if you're in metal i want to hear something slow and if you're in hip-hop i want to hear something emotional at some point in the album and it all makes sense with the album cover for some reason like it's just so beautiful so beautiful and it makes sense with the sound woman is a cash uh, so far i've cashed everything listen Judge me, because maybe I'm not in the right mood to be more critical. The next song is called Tides. Ah, okay, well, something I have a problem with is her titles. Her titles are basic. Left me with some kind of taste. Where is a song called Ellie Bronzing? Y'all don't play enough with your names, that's what I know. Okay, things I like about this song. It has two verses, then the chorus. So, like, the structure is different. I like the song coming after Woman, which was a lovely ballad. I like how, you know, we had a mood swing. I like the fact that I could hear Lord uh, in this song. Like, she could be featured. But I don't like the song. <laughs> I don't actually love the song. I would pass it. I would pass it. The next song is called Wine Drunk. Wine drunk because maybe she was drunk when she wrote it or recorded it. Even the person I pretend to be you. 
I loved it. I wish that was a bit longer. This is a cash. I loved it. Uh, the next song is called Bleach. Okay, I'm not in love with this song. This is a pass. It's a filler. You know, it's a filler. This is never a compliment for a song. Woman is a filler for me, but it's a great song. But this one is just a filler. I, I, don't, I don't know how much she loved it, but production lyrics are somewhere there. The next song is called Flux. Flu I don't know how to pronounce that as well. Remember me. When I think of you now, I just think of the day we... Oh, gosh. Would we be living as I was not in the mood to do this album at all. The other day I got I got a negative comment, which I'm used to it, I don't mind them. But I got a comment that was like, you know, all these people are out there making music, what are you doing? Reviewing the music. And even though that's a, that's a correct statement, I have tried for years to put something together. I am writing all the time. It just seems that maybe it won't happen for me. And every time, every day I get, I you know, I realize that more and more. And that doesn't make me feel very great. Quite honestly. I hope my mom, my mom is not watching. Would you be taking me higher? I wanna know. That was a very nice song. Of course, Cash. The next song is called Brightest Blue. Let's try this. So, I did not love it. I loved the beginning, the pre-chorus. But the chorus, I just find it so basic. Like, no. I'm sorry, especially for the title track. It's it sounds like a lovely song that could be played in a teenage mo in a teenager movie. What's not my favorite song? It's still it's still it's still a pass. It's not a trash. Absolutely not a trash. Cause it's um, it's a lovely production. I find this kind of production to be very basic. And when I say basic, I mean overheard because other other tracks that are just piano, I love them. Even though it's not much. It's a piano. I just find this repetition in the chorus to be very to be very dated. Of course, I've written songs like that, hundreds of them, and maybe I will put them out at some point. But I will not love them. This was the first part of the album. She said that it's like two parts of it. Everything in the second part of the album is it has a feature with another artist. And so the first, the second part of the video, the first track is called is an overture. Let's see. She came through. Cash. Now, overture, usually in a musical, when, uh, you know, they, they start the musical with another tour, it's supposed to be a small part from each song, of every song that we are about to listen in the, in the show. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to be. I don't think it is what it's supposed to be, because I know a couple songs and they sound nothing like it. Next song is called Worry About Me. Future Black Bear. Oh, that's the overture. Oh, fears, fears. Cash. I'm bored of cashing everything, but she she's done a fantastic job. You don't gotta worry, worry about me, baby. The next song is called Slow Grenade. Let's see. Future in love. Help me, my God is a seed, cause we put them on hell of a show. Ah. Uh. Ah, oh, my life, bitch, my life. Not the help me part, but this shit got messy. But at least I have the best seat, cause I put a hell of a show. Huh? Is this is this legal on YouTube? I don't even know. I'm not in love with this. That's that, that's a lot of music that I just listened to. So maybe I am getting tired as well, okay? Keep that in mind. And I started tired. So keep that in mind. This is a pass for me. The next song is called Close to Me. Oh, Diplo and Sway Lee. I'm excited. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I know. I like it. I like this track. But I think I've heard it, you know, at work when you play, when you put a playlist from Spotify that has all the... Yeah, this sounds... This sounds like something I would have listened there. I, I like, I don't love the whole track, but I do think the actual title, Close to Me, is memorable. Mm. Cash. Soft cash, though. Uh, and now we go to my favorite song, Hate Me. Just World Passed Away. Um, in December. I'm just so sorry. Because he got talent. You know, I have this video to remember from him. This is a concept that here with a smoke that keeps talking and the smoke comes out. Such a cool feature. Um, this song is my favorite from the album. It's an ambulance. This is my kind of lyrical content. Hate me, tell me how you hate me. Tell me how I'm trash and you can easily replace. <clears throat> this is it. That's the end of the album. I've been sitting here for a couple hours now and I have a headache. I won't lie. I gotta apologize for, you know, not being too energetic today. I'm so sorry. Sometimes I, sometimes I feel too comfortable in front of the camera. You know how sometimes my guests may be a little bit shy or they may not have many things to say? I am the exact opposite. I feel like I'm talking to, you know, to a friend in the sofa. Like I will, I will burp right here. I feel comfortable talking to y'all. Hence, sometimes a negative comment can get it under my skin, but don't worry about it, not, not for too long. Thank you for watching. <sighs> like and subscribe. That's it. I don't know what else to say. There's no one with me today. Okay, bye.